special day. I get the adjustment cost there. Today is a special day. Uh, we've had several problems here lately with the porta boat, and finally we decided that we'd had enough before we lose our engine or the thing breaks apart on us and uh, we've been going really slow trying to you know make it last out but it's not doing it so this is our porta boat's last days as you can see we've taped up the seats because they fell apart we had to put a metal brace on it bracket on the back to keep the engine mount from popping off previously we lost one the seats are all getting real soft and uh, it's just become a hazard to uh, to us. So we uh, decided to call up a place in uh, Fort Lauderdale, and it was uh, Nautic Ventures. And uh, I called them up yesterday, and they are shipping me out. And I'll get uh, this morning a Wally 310. It's one of those giant plastic boats that looks like a uh, regular uh you know inflatable hard bottom dinghy but you don't have all the problems of the inflatable part so we're gonna we're getting a 10 footer so we're gonna drag that behind the boat and uh it'll be more usable the porta boat had a problem going through the waves uh the new wally won't have a problem with that there'll be more room in it and we'll be able to fish so uh, my rating overall for the porta boat was probably a three. Uh, if you're if you're going to do like fishing on the weekend and you're only going to do uh, weekend fishing and use it for you know an occasional once a month or once a weekend, uh, it's pretty good. But uh, for full time cruising, I uh, I would say probably you know it has pluses and minuses. It folded up on the deck and put on the deck. You know it, it was very lightweight. Uh, the minus was you had to put it together all the time. It fell apart. It, you know, it just it got a lot of use. It got a lot of abuse, you know, of coming off and on the deck all the time. So that probably didn't help it. Uh, you know, if you want to port a boat, I'd still suggest you know probably getting a port a boat. But you know, be prepared. You're going to have to fix it. And uh, you know, it got to the point where I was going to have to fix it and put a new transom on it or a brace bar across there and it, it became a point of having to unscrew and screw things and it really need a big piece of metal to support the transom on there so I think really the engine I got a six horse uh, Yamaha on there and I think the engine is just too heavy for that I think it probably would have been fine if I had a two and a horse two and a half horse or a three on there or something Probably would have lasted a lot longer, but instead I put the heaviest thing I could put on there, you know, bigger, bigger, and uh, that probably didn't help. So I would say port a boat, I'll stick with a thumbs up, but uh, you know, I've abused mine, so, so I'm uh, going to the next thing, and uh, we'll see what a Wally 310 is. We'll be getting it today. All right, then. All right, today we're taking a look at our new Wally 310 we just got uh, I've had a chance to uh, you know, use it a little bit see what I wanted to do I got a standard uh, Wally 310 with no extra stuff on it it pretty much just looks like this it's a uh, it's a regular plastic uh, boat I got a red one just you know to be red uh, now I put the extra fenders on that were on my uh, on my porta boat, and I did that in order to keep it off of the boat. As you can see, it bumps up against the boat there. It bumps up against the boat, so I cut that out. I also uh, it recommended all I had was a six horse Yamaha and Hatsu, so I put a 9.9 .9 on here, which was the manufacturer's recommendation after the porta boat. I decided I'd better not go with a 15 or a 20 on here. They'll probably rip the transom off and the boat won't last as long, so I did what I could. I also put a, uh, a uh, hydrofoil stabilizer on there. It uh, helped keep the boat down. When I got it, it, it like ran way up. It, it just bowed up real bad. 
So even putting the even putting the tank, the fuel tank, uh, in the front, it didn't help. So uh, even a fuel, uh, a full six-gallon fuel tank didn't help. So it, you know, it splashed just like crazy. So Susie didn't like that. So we put the stabilizer on there, and that seems to really help a lot. Now. It really doesn't plane very well. I mean, come on, it's a 232-pound boat with a 9.9 .9 on here. It doesn't plane very well, but it does have a lot of extras on here that you don't get on other boats. Yep, yep, that right there, there's four of them. Yep, cup holders, yeah. That doesn't seem important, but there's cup holders. This also can double as a life raft, which is really good, and it's, it's not going down <laughs> this thing. This thing's thicker than all get out. Plus, it has handholds right here on both sides, going all the way up and around the boat, which is a big advantage. So, so far, I like the Wally. Uh, you know, I wasn't expecting a lot of performance out of it. I mean, it's a big plastic boat. Well, let's be serious. But uh, the benefits are is uh, I see the you know the hard bottom dinghies with the uh, floats on the side. And I really didn't want to get one of those because I've seen a lot of mixed reviews of people people keeping them for years, but when they keep them for years, they have to make the bra over the sides to, to keep the sunlight out of it and keep things off of it. And, and what I really wanted was an OC, but uh, the price tag was really restrictive for me. That oh, lens is dirty. The price tag was really restrictive for me, so I decided not to go that way. Then I thought about built, just building one, because I could probably build something similar. And I decided that was going to be too much trouble, so I bought this. And it does have a, uh, it does also have a uh, locker up here, which is a little locker that pops open. You know, other than that, it's pretty much a standard boat. But the good part is, is instead of the having the pontoons, the blow up pontoons, this doesn't have that. It has the same uh, architecture as that on the outside, but it has the seats cut in, which give this thing an enormous amount of room in it. Plus it'll all, almost carry almost 900 pounds in here. So it's uh, four to six people. So that that's, uh, that's a lot of grocery getting. So. Now I don't have to make more than one trip. I can throw my bicycle in here. I don't have any problems with it. So, so far, so far I'll give it a thumbs up. You know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't think it's gonna go the way my Porta boat did cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna not abuse this one hopefully. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right now.